Hello my lovely Capricorns. I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes and I'm here to do your May 2020 love reading. <laughs> Sorry I didn't get to your general reading for April. I got bogged down um, with my personal life and I had quite a few personal readings and I just couldn't keep up. So I was like I needed to take a little bit of a break from the hate comments and all that shit too. So it, it served me well. But because of that, you guys are being done first and you're getting a bonus reading this month. Before I even do any of the other readings, those bonuses will be put out. Like, I'll finish these love readings and then before I do the next set, they'll be put out. So you get extras. This reading will be extended over on Patreon, so there will be bonus material. Over here, this is a little different. Um, let me just go over my general shit and then I'll explain it. So this is a general reading. It will not apply to every single one of you. I wish I could do that, but I can't. If you'd like me to, uh, pick up on your personal energy, please email me. My email is in the box below. I'll gladly give you all the information you need on personals. It's on the community tab as well as my website. And don't forget to go over, uh, over to Patreon and support me over there. Plus you get extras. So I do have, um, an extended reading for the collective over there. The I uploaded a collective love reading on YouTube and it is extended in the, with each individual sign over there right now. But this over here we're going to cover, this is your past, so your ex basically, unless you're currently partnered with someone still dealing with this person and you have been for a while, but my intention set is a past person. This is you, um, and then this is your new person or future, what what your future kind of looks like in love. Is it new? Is it a renewed love? Um, are you going to be on your own kind of thing? What's the new, 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 new? Because a lot of people, it's out with the old and with the new, so I'm like, fuck it, let's look at the old and let's look at the new, and then we'll see where you're standing in the middle kind of thing. So the top row is, what is it? Um... The overall energy <laughs> in the past, present, future, and then these are feelings. So it can be vice versa. It is energy. So these are either how you feel about somebody, um, whether it's past or just how you feel like your feelings around love, even if it's not necessarily towards a specific person. And then, um, you know, how you feel about this new person or how you will feel when they come into your life. But it could also be their feelings towards you. Uh, cause I do talk to cross watchers and shit like that. So I just want you to be aware. Also down here is what to expect. And then over on Patreon, just let me get, grab my book. I keep looking back there. And on Patreon, we are going to cover obstacles and blocks, actions needed or that are going to be taken, um, potential outcome. And I was thinking of maybe adding, you know, what do they need or what do they want or what do you need or what do you want kind of thing. But we'll see. I'll play it by ear. So anyways, that is what to expect here. Post warning. I already dropped a curse word. I use bad language. If you don't like it, there's the door. See you later. Bye. Catch you on the flip side. Yo, don't need to listen to anyone's opinions about my potty mouth or whatever it is what it is so we're just gonna dive right in overall energy my dears is security i love these cards i thought they were bigger when i ordered them but nope they're tiny <laughs> it is what it is i guess um so i feel like a main focus for you guys right now or for whoever i'm talking to because like i said it's general it will not resonate with every single one of you and if it doesn't resonate don't force it to fit maybe next time so i feel like a lot of you are just focusing on yourselves your stability not only within your family life but like career you know you're locking down that job um, if you haven't found your dream job, I feel like you're applying, you're getting your ducks in a row. I feel like you want to be financially secure so that you can have a happy life, um, for yourself and with a companion, whether it's old or new, it doesn't matter. I just feel like you want to be secure independently, which is, it's a beautiful thing. So there's a lot of independence here and I feel like you haven't always felt that way. So for whoever I'm talking to, it's, this is kind of a newfound freedom is what I feel in a sense. Um, it's exploring yourself. It's recovering from anything from your past. And it could stem all the way back from childhood or just be past experiences in love or a bad relationship. Whatever it is to you, I feel like this is, now is the time to 
you're processing through shit right now, basically. You're having a lot of aha moments and figuring out where you want to be and who you want to be with. Um, and if you haven't met that person yet, you you just know that you no longer want this past person or you just don't want anybody who doesn't have your highest good in mind, basically. So you're working on your security, which is good. So let's see here. Let's start with ye, the past. Fuck it. So overall energy in the past, we have journey reversed, which shows me that the overall energy surrounding an ex or a past situation is showing me that you haven't moved on from it or it's taking you a long time to move on from it. And the first thing that popped in my head is I haven't moved on. Um, it's either you or someone connected to you is still stuck to the idea of this connection coming together and it very well could we've only pulled one card so far but I feel like if it is if this is if an old relationship is going to come back together there needs to be a lot of change and communication um I feel like you both need to be open and honest with each other about your wants and or needs and really lay shit out on the table basically if you're going to try to rekindle something that didn't work out prior because you don't want to just fall back into you know a cycle that you've been in with this person that you just recently pulled yourself out of or I mean it might not even be recent for some of you it's like why do you want to go backwards if it's going to be the same old same old so I feel like in order for something from the past to come back and to be beneficial for you there's going to need look, you guys are going to need to be very honest with yourselves and that person and they need to do the same with you so let's see journey reverse why is this here for the past the overall issue or just energy surrounding an x for capricorn please the lovers this is the after tarot. So in the upright, this is a decision that has been made and it's usually a final decision. But for some reason, I feel kind of wishy-washy behavior. So this is what I'm going to say. One of you, either you Capricorn or your, your ex person, one of you has decided that they're not moving on, period. That they want to continue on with this relationship um that it's not over it will not be over um they don't want it to be over basically so i don't know if that's on your side or their side but there is someone from your past that you have dated you're more than likely committed to this person um that you're not with currently like you're split up whether you're around this person or talk to them still or not that's a whole other story but you're not dating them currently they haven't moved on from you they're not going to they've made up their mind um or you have both of you one of you i don't know i feel like one of you is kind of on the fence and the other one is like nope this is it we're supposed to be together kind of thing they've probably already offered you a new beginning i feel like the offer isn't matched though for some reason and it might be because one of you is not listening to your intuition. I almost feel like someone's intuition is blocked with this past connection. Um, I feel like someone, either you or your person, your ex-person, made an offer to, to start something new, to rekindle love, whatever. And either you or them, whoever the offer was made to, counter-offered with something that wasn't as as beautiful basically so I almost feel like say for example Capricorn you're like okay I have made a decision I love my ex I don't want anybody else um, you per, you know told them this basically and said I you know I want to start over let's have this beautiful life and whatever together and they said well yeah you know I still have love for you but I you know I need to work on this or I need to do that or you know it needs to be this way or that way so they have like rules in place almost guidelines to follow so it's not exactly what it was which you know it would be good because it, you should never go back to exactly the way things used to be there needs to be some change but I don't feel like it's a very promising change so there's still 
the connection still hasn't come together because I feel like you two aren't on the same page yet is what I feel with that and then their feelings or your feelings for the ex person is stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so whoever has made the decision to not move on is just remaining optimistic they're remaining positive that as long as they put the time energy and effort into this you'll come back to them you guys can make this work um, they're keeping the faith basically <coughs> or you are so let's see why are we remaining optimistic what's to come with this optimism somebody's got a bad for you Capricorn from the past or you or you do we have the eight of swords reversed to me, this is being up in your head because in the after tarot, there's someone here helping this person get out of that mental trap and heal from things. I feel like whoever you're connecting to from the past Capricorn, they, <coughs> excuse me, they are all up in their head worried that you do not want them back, that you're gone for good. Um, but they're acting, they're trying to act as though they're keeping a positive mindset that everything's all hunky-dory and it will be fine and you two will come back together and and life will just go on as as they always planned it to but internally they are tore the fuck up i'm just gonna say right now this person has it bad for you and they do not want to see you walk away um they're definitely not telling you but they want this family um this family situation with you they want marriage they want commitment they want the whole shebang um this person even wants to have children there could be children involved for some of you but this is a, a stable family unit they don't want you to they don't want you to veer off from from the path that they had planned with you or vice versa maybe that's what you want but there is a sense of dissatisfaction um, you guys are not exactly on the same page, but like I said, with the Ten of Cups reversed, it could just be them not being happy without you because they are very stressed out that you are not giving them the attention that you used to give them, or that's how you're feeling. So, the what you can expect with this past person is the Queen of Air, independent, experienced, realistic, witty. Objective decision making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, seeing the humor in a situation. I do feel like you have a lot of fun with this person. They might come in in a very playful way, um, or they're trying to keep it very fun and carefree between the two of you, so they're not talking very seriously to you. It's almost like they're trying to be honest with you, Capricorn, in... <laughs> in a fun friendly way because they don't want you they don't want to scare you off basically so they're not lying to you they're they are kind of hiding their feelings but i feel like they're expressing them in a very unique way to you because they they know that they're 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 treading lightly because I almost feel like this person feels like they're walking on thin ice. Like they could just fall through the ice at any time and it will be over kind of thing. So they're being very cautious of how they approach you and what they say to you. But they are being very honest. Um, the Queen of Air, it's like the Queen of Swords basically, can cut people off when she's fed up. So they're definitely tiptoeing around you. Um, and a person can only do that for so long. So keep that in mind if you are interested in this past person or rekindling a love with someone from the past. Um, don't make them, don't torture them too much and don't make them wait too long because I do feel like this person's going to crack eventually because this is a facade. You know, they're acting all carefree and go lucky right now, but they are tore the fuck up inside, like I said, so just don't play around too long because I feel like somebody's about ready to lose their fucking marbles and it could be you <laughs> it's vice versa so why is the queen of air here what is this communication that Capricorn can expect from this past person or vice versa I always get people in the comments that are like you know that was a good reading but it's the other way around yeah I tell you guys that all the time I mean, if you're just telling me that because you want to tell me that, you know, it's your story, but it's the other person doing it, that's totally fine. But some people approach it weird, like the way that they communicate makes it sound like you're wrong. No. 
Anyways, well, there you go. Now we have the King of Swords reversed. Remember, I said you're not seeing eye to eye with this person because there's one person who's made a decision to move this forward and they're all in 110% kind of walking on eggshells waiting for a decision from you or vice versa. This is not being on the same page because we have counterparts here. This is the twin flame, the soulmate, divine counterpart, whatever label you want to call, call it or put on it. These people are... They're matched. They're a match made in heaven, basically. But there's different wants and or needs in this connection. Um, so I kind of feel like with the person, whether it's your past person or you, whoever's tiptoeing around trying to keep the peace so that things move in their favor, um, I feel like there's, they're trying to figure out what the other person truly wants so that they can see if they can match it. Um, as long as it works... For both of you and they're not placating you and just pretending that it works for them it should be fine because if somebody's faking it till they make it once you make it you'll be found out and then the queen will cut your ass out um, but I do feel like one of you is very communicative communicative and the other one isn't so uh, communication is an issue between the two of you right now and I just feel like it's because someone probably you Capricorn needs um needs the distance so there is some self distancing going on between you and this past person and i feel like it's to collect my bearings and to work on my security you know you're doing what you need to do basically but this person has it for you bad <laughs> you have an ex that is is very very in love with you i'm just going to put it that way i don't want to make them sound crazy and needy and everything cuz that's even though the energy can kind of feel strong like that i don't i don't feel that this person acts that way they're not they're not overbearing i guess i feel like they have attributes about them that might feel that way at times um cuz i do feel like some of you are dealing with somebody from the past who is very very strong-willed. Well, I'll just put it that way. So let's see what's going on with you currently, Cappy. If you got someone in your current environment, if it's this person, or if this is just you acting all self-love and shit. So the overall energy for you is storm warning. We have change coming big time. This is like the tower for me. I feel like there's a massive upheaval about to... It's approaching. There's a storm approaching. Um... I feel like part of this is indecision. You're not really knowing what to do. It's like your your focus is on everything except for this connection right now because I feel like a lot of things are changing for you. Um, not, not only around you and your environment, but internally. So I feel like some of you are going through an awakening, um, an ascension process, basically spiritually. And that can be, that can create massive change. Um, it can also fuck with our emotions and mental state and all kinds of shit. It's a very crazy time for some people. Um, I also feel that there's change in your environment. Some of you could be moving or preparing to move, like buying a house, just relocating, whether it's down the road or miles away. Um, I feel changes in my career, which I said that with the stability card, I believe. If I didn't say it, I thought it. Um, there's just changes. Like I feel like something's going to come out of nowhere. I want to know what this massive change is like not working some of you might not be essential workers and you could have lost your job during this whole quarantine thing I'm just gonna say and that's caused an upheaval um it's causing more stress and that's probably why your main focus this fucking thing's gonna drive me nuts it's probably why your main focus is security right now because you're trying to restabilize yourself because money isn't coming in like it once was but this is also in a love capacity. This is something just isn't fucking working anymore. It's needing to collaborate. For some of you, it's somebody, this past person coming in just like, you know, I want to work together. And it could, for some of you, you might be blindsided by it. Like, whoa, I didn't even know that you were still interested kind of thing. But some of you, most of you know that this person still wants to be with you. I'm just going to say it's not a surprise. Um, but I do feel like there's a change here. Some of you might end up having to choose between two because I almost feel like this person's still here. 
um, and there's a new person coming in and that might be why this massive change is approaching like who do I work with who's going to work better with me kind of thing um, I feel like mostly though the overall energy currently going on for you is you working on yourself and building up a security blanket you want your independence some of you need to really go within and heal um, and take charge over your life and manifest your dreams and go after your goals and that might be what this shift is like you could have gone through a time where you weren't working you were a stay-at-home mom or dad or you know you just weren't working because either you were in a relationship or you got laid off or let go or whatever the reason is um, and that's changing for you now it's like whatever was whatever wasn't working before you're shifting and doing something different because um, I feel like you want to make sure that you can not only take care of yourself but you can you know contribute to a relationship down the line because you want that stability all the way around emotionally physically financially whatever massive changes are coming for you Cappy and if it's not you that has a decision between two you're caught up with the past person and that person might have a choice between you and somebody new so keep that in mind too it can go vice versa I want one more for the three of pentacles reversed because I want to know if this is a loss of a job or someone not collaborating well I saw the moon I'm only taking one page of swords this can be immature communication I feel like some of you are gonna find out something online you might be dealing with somebody who works online or there's just a lot of online communication is what I feel and it's not it's not really mature it's more it's informal there we go that's the word I'm looking for so it's not I don't know it's kind of fly by the seat of your pants <laughs> kind of conversation it's some of you are actually um, doing the whole online dating thing because a relationship didn't work out for you so you're putting yourself out there online or you could just be talking to old friends or just you know potential love interests um, if your ex finds out about that I have a funny feeling that it's going to blow up in your face even though you're doing nothing wrong if that is your ex you're not with them but I feel like because they're so committed to this connection if they find out you're talking to somebody else um, and that they're they're technically an option I feel like that could create a problem but you know what we all have free will and we can do whatever we need to do um, that's just for some of you not all of you because not all of you are on dating sites and not all of you are talking to new people or anyone at all really I mean hell your ex or this might be how you meet the new person that's another option they could approach you you might not even have um, you know we're looking for love and they just kind of fell out of the fucking sky kind of thing but I feel like it's like I don't know who to work with now I don't know if I want old or new so th that's pretty much what the storm is it's like fuck now I'm faced with a freaking decision <laughs> um, and you just don't know <laughs> what you want to do yeah you're not sure if you want to go backwards or not or if you want to walk away that's exactly what that is I love it when the cards do that so let's see what you're currently feeling. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, which is exactly why I said that. So we have old and new. And it's like, fuck, I don't know what to do. You know, I love talking and collaborating with this new person, but I'm comfortable with the old person and I know what to expect. And we work well together. There's just, you know, a couple things that we need to tweak and change so that, um, we're a better team basically because this is not a toxic ex if it's if it's even an option for you kind of thing this is somebody who you know you had a fallen out you had a few disagreements or you know you know how sometimes you just feel like you outgrow somebody and then you know a little bit down the line they might grow and get to your level and you want to try again it's something like that um, I feel like somebody's trying to find themselves and that's possibly why they walked away from this person or why or why they walked away from you depends um, but now even though I feel like you didn't you weren't 
looking for new love, but I feel like it found you. Like I said, can I get more on new love? And with new love, even if you do still want to go back to someone from the past, this could be a renewed sense of love. So like, even though it's the same person, it's a whole new relationship. Like the, it's looking at someone in a different way. You're trying to follow your, your instincts, your intuition, but I feel like you're confused as hell right now because you feel a connection to the past, but yet you want to explore something new at the same time. It's almost like I don't want to lose what I had because I feel like it could work, but I also want to see what else is out there. So it's very conflicting energies here, but I also feel like somebody just dropped out of the motherfucking sky and they're talking to you now. And it might be somebody that you least expect. It could be somebody that you've known for a while that you just never dated. And you're like, whoa, you like me like a friend type thing. Um, but I feel some of you, it's online dating. For others of you, it's a brand spanking new person that had their eyes on you because they saw a picture or some shit or they met you at a party years ago and um, they never really approached you until now, but this person just fell out of the sky and it's like, whoop, secret's out. I feel like some of you want to keep this person under wraps, but whatever's done in the dark will come to light. And I did see the moon reverse, so I do feel like this is not a secret. Um, it might be right this second, but I don't feel like it's going to be for long. And that's possibly why the storm is here. Yeah, there's a new, <laughs> there's that new opportunity. Which one do I choose? Who's the dung beetle? You know, which opportunity is that shiny, bright coin? Uh, am I going to make the right choice? Am I going to choose the beetle or the fucking coin? Like, ah, uh, you know, because this beetle might be presented as a coin kind of thing. I feel transformation with it, though. It's like giving and receiving. Working together. Making a choice but not communicating it. So if a lot of you already know what direction you want to go in, who you've already chosen somebody, but you haven't said it. You're trying to be smart about this. I feel like money is tied in this in some capacity because we have stability here. I don't feel like you're falling for somebody because they have money, but I mean, it helps, but I don't feel like that's what you're looking at. I feel like you mainly want that independence, uh, that financial independence yourself it's not I don't know how to explain it there's money in here somewhere though so what you can expect is the seven of earth seeds well planted a temporary pause in action unnecessary worry I mean you are kind of like who do I choose what do I do who do I work well with like you know older new older new so this is kind of just taking a time out and pushing everyone away it's like nope I need to work on myself I'm just gonna put my head down at work or continue to go after this goal and what I need to do for myself and I'm gonna push pause on the old person and the new person because I don't know what which one is the better investment so this is you having a choice, basically, and right now you're choosing your sanity, so you're not, like, freaking out, like, over any of it. It's like, if you love me, great. If you love me, great. I need to think, kind of thing. Can I get more on the seven of earth? You're trying to process through who would be the better investment, and that could be where the money is coming into. Like, who do you work better with? Is your ex good with money, or are they not? Is this new person going to be good with money? Are they going to try to take your money? Do they only want you for your money? Or do you only want them for their money? Like something like that. There's money in here somewhere. Somebody wants the money. But I don't feel like that's the whole thing. Seven of Earth, please. For what to expect. So Capricorn is not moving in any direction right now. That has to do with money. We have the Five of Pentacles here. It's feeling left out in the cold. It's a sense of lack. It's trying to recover from a sense of lack. This is gaining your independence. This is saving up your money. This is what I just said. Some of you could have really lost a job and you're, you know, looking for work and you're just trying to build up that cushion, build up your savings um, so that you're good. So a lot of you are pushing pause on love and just focusing on your own stability and yourself because you, you need it, basically. Um, you're prioritizing yourself 
which I don't feel like you've done in the past, and now you're putting your, your own needs first, which is beautiful. I think it's awesome. That could also be where this new lover came in from. Should I walk away or heal something from the past? You're in thinking mode, big time. Hmm. You're taking charge of your life. Some of you are starting your own business even. And it might be a slow go. But I feel like a lot of you are... You're doing better financially. You're just trying to better your situation. And I feel a lot of you do not want handouts. You do not want help with that. It's like... I, I get that you love me and I get that you want to support me and whatever, but I can do this myself kind of thing. I feel that that type of attitude, which is a beautiful attitude to have because, you know, we should all be self-sufficient. Not everybody feels that way. Um, some of you might feel, might have felt that you have been stifled for a long time because you were a stay-at-home mom or dad or you just, you know, you didn't have to work because of your marriage or whatever happened in the past. Um, but now you want to. It's like, that's something in my life I want to experience and I want to prove to myself that I can do it on my own kind of thing. So you're pushing pause on love, period, old or new, um, so that you can not only think, but you can save up your money and prove, prove all the naysayers wrong. Anyone who said that you couldn't accomplish this or that or do something on your own, you're like, fuck you, yes I can. <laughs> is what I feel. It's hotter than a motherfucking here. I'm just saying, holy Hannah, that came out of nowhere. So, new love. In the future, the overall energy is attachment reversed. So this is releasing yourself from people, places, and things that do not serve you. Um, it's releasing outdated ways of thinking and past people. Um, I feel like between <sighs> the connection between you and this past person is extremely strong, okay? And remember I said you're not seeing eye to eye. One of you's communicating, the other one kind of isn't. I feel like this is you detaching yourself from this connection and anything from the past because it's like a new... You're taking a new approach to life, basically. So even if you do reconnect with a past lover um, and, and reconcile with them, come out of the cold, whatever you want to say, I feel like it will still be a different experience with that person because you will now know that you don't need them. You want them. So that's the difference, I feel, if you choose Old, like to go back to an ex and that is why you're pushing pause and working on yourself and your independence because you it will make you feel better knowing that you're there because you want it not because you you need it to survive is what I feel um, and you will never allow yourself to be attached like that to anybody else even if it is somebody new so you're releasing that shit you're getting out of these old cycles I don't really feel like you're moving on, though. I feel like you are going to choose somebody. I, I feel like you're choosing this person, Capricorn. You really don't want to go to somebody new. Some of you are choosing new. It's not every single Capricorn is going backwards. But even in the collective reading I did, I saw some signs were going back to a toxic cycle. And Capricorn was one of them. But I don't feel like this is toxic. So the person I'm talking about from your past is not a toxic past person. Um, I do feel like you want to release yourself from karmic ties. So like I said, it's 50-50. Some of you are reconciling with an ex, with this ex, and starting a new cycle. And others of you are ending everything from the past and just moving forward. Um, but either way, you're ending karmic cycles and attachments. You don't want to be tied to anyone or anything. I feel like you haven't said this to anyone yet. You're keeping it to yourself. It's like going within and figuring out not only who you are, but what your purpose is in life. And you're not going to let anybody hold you back. Which is fucking beautiful. Yeah, you're the master of your own life. You're a magical being. You're taking fucking charge. I feel like a lot of you are really going into business for yourself. You're just taking the reins of your life and just 
full steam ahead, which is awesome. I know this is a love reading, but sometimes career can come in because we can love our job. But if somebody is mainly focused on career and finances, it will show up in a love reading too. And I feel like that is your main focus right now in the present. But um, once you get your shit together and you get to a place a place where you're comfortable and you're happy with your achievements, I do feel like some of you are going backwards. And others of you are going new. So it, it is 50-50. So let's see feelings in the future. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. If some of you were dealing with an ex who did not want to get married, who did not want to propose, propose, they didn't want to level up, I feel like they're biting themselves in the ass now. And if you do decide to choose them, they are going to change their mind and level up with you. Um, I feel like you know in the future, so in the uh, within the month, because this isn't too far out, um, I feel like you, you do, you're going to know what you want. I feel like you already know what you want. You just don't know who you want it with. But I feel like that's going to be figured out. Um, I feel like you're going to get what you want coming up soon, actually. It's fucking crazy. Engagement. Why is this here, please? We have the five of wands reversed. It's like an inner conflict. I feel like... It's disagreeing. That's kind of what I said. Was someone from the past might have wanted to get married and level up and you didn't. Or vice versa. It could have been you wanting to level up and they didn't. This is like a difference of opinion on commitment. Like I'll move on if I have to. Because this is what I want. And if I can't have it with you I'll have it with somebody else. Kind of thing. Um, I need more. Why the five of wands reverse? Come out reverse. I can't believe that video is still fucking processing. That is ridiculous. I did a personal reading and then realized I can actually record while I'm uploading shit. And it's still processing. <laughs> like, it's insane. Hold on. Why is the five of wands reversed, please, with engagement? Ten of Wands in the upright. That is putting the burdens down and then picking one up and just moving forward with it. It's persevering. So to me, this is in your feelings. It's like, if we can't be on the same page, I'm going to choose someone who who is. Because this is not being on the same page. There's a lot of love here. And this person staying optimistic that you'll choose them because they've already chosen you. But if, if they can't get on the same page as you, I feel like you might just drop them and move to somebody new. That's why I said there's 50-50 here. Because some of... Some of you are dealing with someone who will, you know, who has changed their mind and they're willing to move forward and level up in the same, and, and give you what you want, basically. But I feel like this could, to me, this is an ultimatum. Like, this is the deciding factor for you. It's like, okay, this is what I want. If you don't want it and you don't agree, bye. I'm going to move on to this new person. And if the new person doesn't want it, you might go back to the old person. I literally feel 50-50 here. I feel like it's a difficult decision, but and it's hard for you to make because you have love for this past person and you see potential in the new person, but it's like, who is going to mesh well with me? Who is going to, um, you know, be my confidant, be my partner in crime, and stand by me for the rest of my life? Who wants the same things that I do? That's who I'm going to fight for. That's who I'm going to pick this wand back up for kind of thing. Um... I feel like you and this past person have gone round and round and round. Um, it's It's been a, a hellacious ride, I'm just going to say. It's been difficult. It's been tiring. But it's almost like 
giving giving it one more chance is what I feel. I really feel that for most of you is giving this person a chance. Some of you is just no. I can't. Hmm. That's persevering. That's pushing through. That's giving it one more go around. Because there's a cycle that really isn't over. It's releasing yourself from the toxicity of it. Like any unhealthy attachment that you had or that this person had. It's like providing space and independence between the two of you. But I kind of do feel like repeating history here. But in a more positive way. It's like, okay, I'll give you one more shot. But you fuck it up this time, I'm done kind of thing. Is what I feel for some of you. At least for someone. Um, so there is past coming back. Your past will meet your future is what I feel. And then um, what you can expect in the future is the Ten of Earth. A very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. So there's your happy life, happy wife, fucking getting married, engagement turning into marriage. Um, this is the whole shebang, having children, you know, having financial security, emotional security, that partner that's that is your confidant that is going to walk alongside you, not in front of you, not behind you. That You know, this is your person. This is finding the one um, and getting what you want after a difficult time out of a lot of uncertainties and a, a struggle, basically. Um, it's finding somebody who matches you, basically. And I feel a lot of you, it's this past person. But you're going to make them sweat it out, basically, <laughs> is what I feel. Yeah, there we go. We're back to that fucking offer again. The same one I mentioned right in the very beginning. It's giving the beetle another chance. But in a new way. Hmm. I almost feel like... It, when I said I feel money here, I feel like the main issue was independence between you and this past person. And now that you know that you can do it on your own, that you have your own money, that you are stable, I feel like you you feel more secure in this connection now and you're willing to put the work in. You're willing to give it another shot. I do feel like you've seen some growth and expansion from this past person as well, or they've seen it within you, whichever. Um... Some of you are choosing new. Some of you, this is choosing work. Like, fuck it. Um, this is a lot of work. I'm just... <laughs> I can't decide on love today. I'm just going to put everything... Put my all into my job kind of thing. Like, I've been waiting... I've been waiting for a while to get to this place where, you know, my business has taken off or I finally landed that job and I don't want to throw it away. I don't want to fuck it up kind of thing. So if you're willing to wait and put, I'm putting love on hold, if you want to sit on the back burner for a minute, that's great because I'm doing me right now. Some of you are doing that. So there's three scenarios I see. Some of you are going back to this ex. And you're going to have the happily ever after shit with this person. They will level up with you. You'll be on the same page. Others of you are like, I can't stand, I can't stand being with you kind of thing. Um, you haven't changed. You're not putting the work in. I do all the work. We fight too much. I'm letting go. I'm moving on to somebody new. And then the third group, you're like, fuck love. I'm just, I'm working. <laughs> That's pretty much what I have uh, for past, present, and future in love for you guys. Like I said, and you know how I said some of you are going to choose your career, a new career opportunity, and you're not even going to fucking worry about um, love or commitment? Some of you really are only going to <coughs> be focused on work. You're just going to be like, fuck it, fuck love kind of thing. And possibly it's because you're still hung up on this past person but you're waiting for them to get to a certain place in their life so that you two can come back together i do see that too love is hard it really is i'm gonna get you a little bit of advice and then we're gonna go over to patreon like i said and cover obstacles and blocks so basically what were the blockages and hang-ups in the past between you and this person what's currently blocking you like why aren't you moving forward in love um and then in the future are there any obstacles that you need to overcome 
um, in order to get this Ten of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles in the end. Because I'm telling you what, that's beautiful. Like, your hard work is paying off emotionally and in the material realm, which is awesome. So we're going to see what the blockages are, um, actions that are needed to be taken or that are going to be taken, and potential outcome, and we'll see what people want, whatever. Um, whatever comes out, basically. And I'll get you some extra advice and whatever I feel because I kind of live in the moment over there but yeah so if this is resonating making sense and you want more clarity head on over to patreon or just go support your girl over there either way <laughs> donations are always welcome oh no now I see why there might have been a break but anyways this might be where the confusion is coming in too with the new or old this if you do entertain new love even though you're single your past person might feel this way I just want you to know I'm gonna put it out there when you cheat you are only cheating yourself out of love opportunities and success so don't cheat in, in any area of your life don't cheat on your spouse your partner don't cheat at work um, you will be on the losing end eventually because karma does come back around. There's good karma and bad karma, and cheating provides bad karma, just going to say. Um, that could have caused a disconnect here in the past, whether you did the cheating or your person did. But I do feel like something was found out, and it might have involved cheating. The other thing that I said was... Um, if you move on to somebody new, your ex might think might feel like you're cheating because they have already chosen you it's not technically cheating though but it's all about perception so keep that in mind if someone's accusing you of this that and the other even though you're not together it's because in their head you two are vice versa whatever take it where it fits but there's that um your divine counterpart is a reflection of yourself is who you are right now who you want them to be so basically, strive to be your perfect person. You know, do what you expect of somebody that you're in love with. So are you where you want to be? I don't feel like, I feel like most of you aren't. I feel like you're getting there. You're working on it. So some of you just aren't ready for love right now. And that's why you're putting your head down at work and just doing what you need to do for yourself. And you're focusing on your dreams. Dream big. You have the power to create your own reality. And you do. And that's what you're doing. You're trying to get out of this, um, this sense of lack. This mental prison, basically. Because you know that there's more to life. In, and you want more. I feel like you want it with this past person, though. You just... It's almost like if, they, if you find out that they can't give it and they can't deliver on their promises, you will move on, though, is what I feel, or vice versa. They might move on to you, because I don't know if you are the past person, Capricorn, or if I'm talking about your ex. It's different for everyone, but I hope that that made sense, and don't forget to check me out on Patreon. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. The more you interact with me, the more I have to pick up on your energy. Um, yeah, we'll cover all the obstacles and blocks and all that fun crap on Patreon. So I will see you over there. Bye.